Welcome back. Exercise 20, Creo Parametric 7.0. In this exercise, we're going to actually do three exercises in one. It's all sheet metal. The very first one we're going to take a look at is just a sheet metal cylinder. And there you can see the little pattern that I put in there. And the idea with each one of these, of course, is the ability to flatten it out. And there you can see the flat pattern that we can make from that. Then we're going to go ahead and um, let me just that. Okay, so there's a flat pen for that. And then we're going to take a look at the cone. Now, here's the thing with the cone. This is a quick and easy way to make a cone. However, it might not give you the data you're looking for for bending applications. Um, so you could actually make this cone using this tool as well, which uh, we're going to see how to do like a loft as well um, here, actually a sweat blend. And so with the cone though, it's very easy. We'll see how this one's done. We'll, there's the, uh, there it is in its flattened state. And then finally this, which we take actually two profiles and we merge them and make that part. So let's begin. Let's go to new part and go ahead and name this E20 underscore S -Y -S -C -Y -L for cylinder and hit OK. For this, um, oh, and actually what we should have done is start off with that. We don't have to start off with a sheet metal part, but um, it's not a bad idea. We could go over here to convert to sheet metal. Uh, we'll just do that, I suppose. Okay, and we'll just make sure we're set to convert all bodies. Uh, you know what? Actually, this is the backwards way of doing it. Let's just start a new one from sheet metal. So right here, make sure you select sheet metal. So this one, E20 cylinder. We'll actually spell it out. So uh, sorry, E20 underscore C Y L I N D E R. And make sure sheet metal is selected. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select the front plane and you'll see there's extrude or there's uh, there's two extrudes. So we'll go with this one over here. Okay, now just go ahead and draw a circle at the origin and dimension it at two and a half inches in diameter. It's going to be a small one. And now hit OK. And you'll see it starts to create our cylinder. That's fine. Uh, we'll leave it at the default of 0.045. You could have the sheet metal thickness on the outside or the inside. Now there are options here. And in the other sheet metal exercises, we've actually explored these. So I'm not going to go through these right now. But go ahead and hit OK. Now to actually get it to flatten, let's go to um, the top plane and go to sketch draw a line make sure it goes through the part from end to end and now you could go uh, hit OK and go to rip and sketch rip now we need to flip it so select this flip switch up over here and we'll change it to the top I mean it could be top or bottom it doesn't matter but now we actually put that little cut in there so we could go to unbend and there we could see it uh, unfold it. Now select this face and we'll just have a little fun with it. We could go over here to extrude and you saw I had like some polygons there. I used the actual uh, parallelogram. I was trying to make a tire tread on there and um, but well, I'm actually going to go with just a simple circle. Let me just put that in there. And I'll set it to a half inch and we'll position it two inches off this edge. And on the length there, we'll make it just um, seven. Hit OK. Now you see it cut. Make sure it cuts through. Hit OK. And now we'll just pattern that. So under editing, you'll find pattern and select direction. Select this edge here. And we want to flip that edge so the arrow is pointing along the direction and put in let's put in maybe uh, a dozen 
and we'll have them spread out. Let's see, uh, about 0.75. Oh, that's too far. 0.6. Eh, that's still too far. 0.55. There we go. Actually, we can do 0.575. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, for direction two, click in this box and select this edge. And we flip that. Well, let's put um, maybe four instances. Flip the direction so it's on that part. And then let's see. 0.5, like probably the same 0.575. Looks pretty good. Hit OK. All right, so we have our pattern. It's not very straight. Again, I'm just shooting from the cuff here. So let's now go back to bend back. And it should roll it up. And there it is. All right, so that's the first one. Now let's take a look at how the cone is done. And, and there's multiple ways you could do these, by the way. This isn't just the only way. Uh, let's go to new part. Now this one, we actually do want it in a part. Okay. And we'll go ahead and call this E20 underscore cone. Hit OK. And we'll convert it later. So let's go to the front. Go to extrude and same size as before. Go with two inches, or actually two and a half inches. Hit refit. Yeah, it's a little small there. Let's bring that all together. Uh, refit again. Now let's we'll hit OK. We'll have it go two and a half inches here. But now under options, make sure you select add taper and minus 13. Minus 13. Hit OK. All right, now we could go to operations, go to convert to sheet metal. Now, when we convert it, we want to shell this out. So select the shell and um, we'll go with 0.062. Now select this face in the front and it should get a grid pattern and hollow out. Now rotate and hold control and select the back face. So now you can see right through it. Hit OK. And the same goes again. Let's just select um, top plane, go to sketch, select the line tool. And this one, make sure it pierces out because there's a little bit of an edge that goes out the back side. So make, uh, extend it a little bit further beyond that. You could actually dimension it in the event you ever change it. So maybe always have it go at least 0.1 in that direction. and. This uh, let's go. To, uh, let's just go ahead and you get the idea with that. Let's now hit OK, and we could go to rip again. Sketch rip. Let's flip it so it's at the top and hit OK. All right, now this one is ready to unbend. So just go ahead and click on unbend. The green check. You could put features on if you want. Then just hit bend back. And now you've got yourself the flat pattern two inside there. All right, let's move on to the last one. Now this is the trickiest one. So go to new and it's going to be sheet metal for this one. And we'll call it E20 underscore, uh, we'll call it a loft. Now Creo doesn't use the term loft too often. Uh, it's actually sweat blend, but we're going to use that just because it's short. Hit OK. Now go to the front and go and just start a sketch. Now we're going to go ahead and draw horizontal and vertical center line. Go to, actually, we didn't even need those for this one, but uh, that's all right. Let's now go to center rectangle and click and drag out your rectangle. And we'll make this kind of on the larger side, so 20, and then this is going to be, we'll make it 12, and refit. If you want, you can bring those down a little closer and refit. Now we're going to go to the rounds tool, the sketch fillets, as they call it, and proceed to sketch down here to here, here to here, there to there. And there, there. Now we're going to make those all equal. So uh, go ahead and change one to um, 
two inches. And I'll go to equal, select that two inch, select this one here, select this one here, and select that one there. And now they're all equal. All right, hit OK. Now uh, let's rotate a little bit, select the front plane, and go to the plane tool here, and we could see our offset. We could actually grab this. We're going to drag it, um, let's drag it 15 out, and hit OK. All right, now with that new datum, click on it and go to Sketch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Circle and change it to Construction. This is where it's key, Construction. We want it to go to a, a diameter here. So, uh, oh, perfect. Let's make that um, four inches. Sounds good. All right, now it's construction geometry. When you're done with it, click off of it. It'll click a couple times, make sure you're not in it, or hit escape. And turn off construction mode. Now we're going to go to the line tool. Zoom up really close to the top here and click and drag out a line. Make sure it doesn't snap to that geometry from this corner to that. And let's go ahead and middle click two times after you draw it and just make it point 0.1. Now let's do the same over here. Go to the line tool, click here, drag this up, middle click two times. And in fact, actually, we could go to equal and make that equal to this so we don't have to add another dimension. And one dimension controls it all. So if we ever want to shrink this down, we could change that one dimension, they all update. Now let's go to tangent arc and off that point click, drag it across and snap. Make sure you get into that point there. Middle click two times. See we have our arc We're in good shape. Now we're going to draw center lines, a vertical and horizontal center line. Now click and drag across to select everything in that boundary. Okay, those two little lines and the arc. Go to mirror, select the vertical. Now click up here, drag this across. Go to mirror and select horizontal there. All right, now we could go to OK. Select the top plane. Go to uh, sketch. And let's draw a line from here to here. Okay, now you'll see it's not snapping the center, so you have to zoom up a little bit. Click. Make sure it's not offset. It should be vertical, i.e. it shouldn't be like at an angle. Hit OK. And now we're ready to go to walls, sweat blend. Now we'll stick with the 0.045 for the sheet metal thickness. Select. Um, now here it does make a difference where you select. So I'm going to select right in this, on this radius. Click on that radius. Now go over here and click on this radius close in proximity to it. Oh, uh, let's try it again. Sorry. Click on this radius. Go to references. Oh darn, I forgot. I have to click on the trajectory first. Sorry. So make sure you go to references. Click on that line you drew. Now we could go to sections. Selected section. Select that arc on this upper right corner and in that same proximity over here, click over here. And uh, I apologize guys, I'm getting a little tired here. Select that again. You have to hit insert, then select this. And it should go through like this. Now if it didn't, remember you could grab this ball and drag it over here. Sometimes it uh, sways a little bit. Hit OK. Now, so if it was twisted, remember that little ball, you could drag it. We learned that in exercise eight in the intro class, so just if you can remember that. Okay, once again, let's go to uh, rip, sketched rip, and we could actually select this little line that we drew earlier, so it's multi-purpose. Flip it so it goes up, hit OK, and now we could go ahead and unbend. Select this uh, edge right here, Okay, it's calling me a liar today. Let's uh, delete that. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. I'm going to go with flat pattern this time. And it didn't work. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure why it's giving me a difficult time today. I did one earlier. 
um, years might actually be working. I might have missed a step. Very often it's operator error. In my case, let's try to unbend one more time. And I'm going to remove that and manually select. Darn it. Let's see if we can select the underside. Go with automatic. Okay, well, I'm going to try and figure that one out. I got it to work the first time. Not certain why this time it's not uh, doing it. I just did it literally like 10 minutes ago with this. And I'm going to go ahead and roll that back and just take a look at some of the parameters I used. it a lot larger the last time so oh and maybe the line extension I wonder if that has something to do with it let's try that again let's go back there and I'm gonna delete this maybe that line didn't go all the way through it looks as though it does so I'm assuming it does but we might have a problem let's delete the sketch really let's draw a new one so let's go to the top Go to sketch and I'm just going to give this a try and then I'm going to cancel out. Those of you who got yours to work, that's fine. I'm just going to, uh, you could just end it right now. This is just a little troubleshooting and this is what really happens in the real world from time to time. Let's do it upside down, why not? All right, now let's go to flat pattern. There, I think we've got it now. Let's see. Okay, it's not working. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and try and figure that one out. Not sure why it didn't like it this time around. Um, but if we look at, like I said, the geometry from here um, is pretty much the same. So I'm not certain what happened. All right. Well, that concludes this exercise.